Good day everyone. Today we gathered at the Star Classic Radio to have an interview with the some of its staff members about their experiences and radio production. Good day Vasiliki. Good day Mirtos. How are you guys feeling? We are feeling excited. All right, let's start with the first question. Can you tell us about <coughs> your target audience? Okay, uh, it's a wide range of uh, audiences, from teachers, uh, students, artists, uh, working people. Uh, we target all sorts of people because we want to promote the positive way of thinking, uh, the ideas of collaboration, um, and helping each other. This is our main point. Uh, the open society, so as to be able to share ideas, thoughts, uh, problem solutions, and mostly we want to promote the unity of all people uh, as a way of thinking. Uh, what are your main topics? Uh? The main topics are, of course, music, mm -hmm. um, art, any any sort of art. Uh, we. In the past, we have participated in uh, some uh, painting exhibitions and, uh, uh, let's say, subjects related to books, uh, lectures. Uh, also, it's uh, tradition, science, uh, education, uh, religion, social issues, technology, of course, and how it affects our uh, everyday life. We like to um, uh, open uh, social discussions uh, related to various types of subjects that concern the today's uh, society. All right. Uh, you stated about uh, your goals of uh, unity of other people. Um, is that like the main intention behind the production of your radio show? Actually, when we produce a radio show, uh, we want firstly, initially, we want to be, we want it to be interesting uh, and easy to digest for a broad uh, audience. As we, in most of cases, our audience uh <coughs> are uh, people with different background in terms of uh, lifestyle, education, age, uh, and other different, uh, let's say, influences are watching. So we want it to be <coughs> easy to understand for everyone. This is our, our main goal. And if we cover this goal, yes, of course. We uh, always we want to promote the unity, the collaboration with people. We, we are against the let's say the things that divide us we want to focus on things that unite people so i understand you try to specialize um, your goals to the different types of people and the way the shows yes yes actually we might um, make a, sh a show a, br uh, a radio show uh, more specific um, let's say for a sp specific subject but for example uh, one show might be dedicated to science or uh, education or how uh, teachers interact with um, uh, with their students or how do they uh, is the as, let's say Teachers might have issues of um, interact with each other and students uh, and to pass their um, uh, ideas and their subjects. And we have, we might have, let's say, a, a show dedicated to, to a specific subject, but this doesn't change our main focus. This is what I want to say. Let's say I'm a young person who wants to work uh, in a place like that. Okay. Uh, what kind <coughs> of skills are necessary to work in a radio station? Okay. Actually, 
the most important skill is to be uh, a people that can adapt things. And uh, the problem solving should be one of your, uh, let's say, best skills. Because we, we don't look for people that are highly, let's say, uh, educated in terms of radio or highly uh, to have, let's say, uh, high experience. Mm -hmm. We want people to have the passion for the radio as a medium and um, to be easy to uh, to adapt, to collaborate with each other. And we can teach the main principles of how to, for example, uh, to operate the consoles and the equipment and to learn the software. We, we can do this. And you, uh, but we need, if we want to, if we decide to collaborate, if someone uh, comes to, to us and ask for, let's say, collaboration, we are open to this. But the main principles are this, to be open, to have the passion, and to be, um, let's say, open to adapt new things. Uh, can you tell us about some of the difficulties you have to face while maintaining this radio? Oh, yes. Any sort of difficulties, any sort. Uh, actually, we are an uh, internet uh, station, so our main concern is the internet in itself. So we have had issues uh, related to the internet connection, the internet speed, uh, some small disconnections. Everything affects our broadcasts. So we always try to be, to have, let's say, a s very stable connection, uh, optical fiber if it's possible, or always we try to have a backup in terms of internet, in terms of uh, hardware, equipment. And uh, in many cases we have faced during a, a live broadcast to have issues with our uh, computers, with our software, something is not working, something is uh, stacking somewhere, or uh, the cords here, or the consoles. We have to deal always with any sort of problems. What kind of uh, actions <coughs> or events uh, you want to participate in? Uh? We have participated in the past, and also we plan to participate in events like um, helping people in uh, social terms to... Uh, support people and to make we want to participate in events to collect uh, money for people that need support and to participate in uh, events to let's say some uh, uh, flea markets for our radio uh, the purpose of our radio as an entity is is to to help people so every event that is dedicated to th to this subject of course we are interested in participating uh, let's uh, add uh, something more about um, our actions and events that we participate uh, permanently uh, it's uh, multilingualism festivals it's a, a festival for all communities uh, here in Thessaloniki and their mother tongues uh, for some days uh, they have the opportunity to uh, show their uh, alphabets and languages and their literature, but even their cuisine and uh, their customs or uh, dancings. Uh, it's a, a, a huge uh, festival uh, in cooperation with the municipality of Thessaloniki and the municipality of uh, uh, Pavlos Melas and some other cities in Greece as well. Uh, Star Classic Radio supports and uh, uh, participates in the organizing these uh, festivals. Uh, we also um, uh, have as a goal the um, participation and the, um, collaboration with uh, a lot of um, other organizations, organizations that support Roma people, uh, organizations uh, that uh, uh, do actions about disability acceptance and social inclusion. 
and um, uh, our, uh, as Milton said, uh, open to any suggestion, and any creative uh, uh, event and uh, act. I participated already multiple times in your radio workshops. I really like them. Uh, could you could you tell us uh, about how you organize them? Um, radio workshops are um, uh, main goal for us. Uh, we have started uh, with uh, USB, United States of Balkans, and uh, also with uh, ARSIS, an organization for supporting youth. Uh, we like them very, very much. Uh, we organize them as a teamwork. Uh, we try to um, uh, explain uh, what uh, a radio show means, uh, what is the structure of a radio show uh, in the first meetings. And uh, then we have uh, here uh, visits in our studio. Volunteers from USB, like you can, uh, young people from all Europe, <laughs> and also from Mars, uh, young uh, refugees or young uh, immigrants that they live uh, here in uh, Thessaloniki. Uh, they are coming to the studio in little groups after the first uh, meetings uh, and the introduction. And uh, Miltos uh, will show everything with the equipment here. I will discuss uh, with them uh, the structure of their uh, radio mission. They, they select uh, any subject they like and uh, we are co collaborating to make it in a form with songs and music mm. and uh, then we have the records here like uh, this one today <laughs> um, it's a very nice experience for us to share our knowledge our technology um, it's uh, also nice to uh, encourage uh, young people to use radio because it's a fine uh, medium uh, to express your ideas, your mission, and an interactive uh, medium. And um, at the final, it's very, very nice to meet uh, young people from uh, all Europe here <laughs> and make connections. This is one of my favorite questions because I'm so curious for the answer. What are your thoughts about the radio and the impact uh, it lives on people's lives. All these years that uh, we have organized uh, this uh, radio team, this uh, radio studio, uh, we have um, uh, we have felt and uh, reserved the um, impact uh, to our listeners. We have a lot of comments, uh, encouraging comments uh, in uh, the social media, Facebook, Instagram, etc. Uh, the impact to the uh, the scientists, the artists, and uh, uh, any citizen fr and from the city that comes here for an interview or for a radio show, they all feel that they have time to speak and analyze their ideas, uh, uh, their work. Uh, uh, it's uh, an enthusiastic climate here <laughs> that we live. Uh, I think the impact, the radio impact is very, very important in radio, but uh, especially this uh, volunteer uh, small radios like uh, ours. It organizes uh, a community around it. Okay, uh, Asilik, I have uh, a question. Do you, uh, but do you think that radio is as powerful media as, let's say, television or newspapers? I think it's very powerful because uh, even uh, we can uh, have uh, the image for uh, facts uh, or uh, situations, uh, we like very much to hear. It's very interesting that podcasts, which uh, just sound uh, uh, archives, sound uh, tracks, uh, so many people uh, like to hear an interview or um, a dialogue or a discussion, uh, just to listen in a podcast. I think uh, we like to hear, and uh, we also uh, listen radio wh while we are driving, or while we are walking, or in the bus. Uh, it's very easy to listen and uh, have all the impact. Miltos, can you give us uh, a small idea how the radio equipment equipment work? 
Okay, the main concern of a sound technician is to keep a balance of everything here. Because when it comes to studio, a lot of things may interrupt uh, aside of the technical uh, issues we, m- we have mentioned earlier. The, we might have issues of the external sounds, internal sounds, imbalances uh, between the music, imbalances between the microphones. Uh, the main concern of a te- technician, sound technician, especially when it comes to radio, is the balance. We are here to make everything get connected and work together. Also, we have a split. We have um, headphones for each one that's participating in the broadcast. And at the same time, we need to to check if uh, that broadcast is taking place so if we have a notification that is not working at the same time we need to find the solution or whatever is not working here we need to find the solution okay Vasiliki, Miltos that was very great to hear you I have a last question yes please what kind of plans do you have for the future I think as per my opinion is to be as productive as possible and to be able to serve our purpose As I mentioned before, we need to be able to make people feel more united, to give the medium for people to express themselves, uh, to participate in events, to be able to support people. And we need to do this in a a better and more productive and uh, more effective way. I agree with Miltos. This is our main goal. And uh, we are in the start um, uh, with a new uh, cooperation with USB. We'll be glad to, to do it. And uh, there are always uh, uh, appear uh, new opportunities for collaborations with all these uh, networks that I've uh, mentioned, the social organizations and uh, cultural organizations here in Thessaloniki, but uh, even in Greece. We had a fine collaboration uh, with Nantes in uh, France, And uh, we may start again sometime. <laughs> Thank you very much, Vasiliki and Miltos. This was a very great talk and discussion about radio, as well as your input into pro- producing uh, radio shows. Uh, I would like to, me and Paniotas. Nice to meet you, first of all. It was a honor. And I hope uh, we can have a lot of more conversation in the future. That would be great. Thank you. Thank you very much for this uh, interview and having you here in studio and discuss about uh, uh, Star Classic Radio and uh, radio generally. Yes, yes, uh, from my end, I want also to thank you and for the opportunity to present uh, what radio uh, Star Classic Radio is. And I hope we will be able to work closely in the future. Thank you very much.